this is my little coil form spinner thing. Uh, I can't really give it any sort of name because I don't know if it's going to work for anything correctly. But any anyway, I just made this so that I could uh, send the form easily and coat it with polyurethane before and after winding. So it it's nothing special. It's just a uh, uh, one and a half inches thick by five and a half inches wide piece of board that it's all mounted to. Uh, and then the same for the upright pieces, and then the same for the thing holding the, uh, electric driver. Uh, and then I just got this metal pole, I forgot what it came from, but, uh, I got that, and, um, I made this disc right here, and then a smaller disc inside so that the coil form will barely move, uh, and then this one so that it won't move back and forth. And I did that on the other side too, and I just have them secured with a bolt back here, which you probably can't see. Uh, and the way I have it spinning is this electric uh, driver, well, a screwdriver, uh, powered by this transformer with a whole bunch of different taps, as you can see. Um, and I'm using a 6-volt tap, which is what it normally uses in normal, condi in normal operation. Uh, rectified and smoothed. Uh, for, you know, smooth DC, whatever. Uh, I have it held on by this, uh, thing right here. I don't know what you should call it. And, um, I have a spade bit stuck in here. And then I smashed the pipe around the spade bit so that it would actually spin it. And then I have that stuck in the end of the driver. Uh, so. Now all I gotta do is turn on with my little switch box right here and... Uh, right now I'm just sanding it uh, to get anything uh, like any kind of dirt or anything off of it and to get it smooth and all that good stuff. Right now I'm using 220 grit uh, sandpaper and after I've done it for a while with this I'm going to make sure it's smooth with this. I'm expecting the whole sanding process to take maybe an hour of continuously doing it so... It'll take a while, but it's it's damn worth it. And then after that, I'm going to put a thin coat, a few thin coats of polyurethane on it. Then I wind the wire. Then I uh, put a whole bunch of uh, coats and sand in the middle of some of the coats. So let me turn it on, and I'll go ahead and start sanding. By the way, when I was cutting these slots right here for the driver to sit in to keep it from spinning or moving too much or anything, uh, the thing that held the blade on my jigsaw flew off, which caused the jigsaw to jerk, and uh, my finger fell under the jigsaw, and it, and the part that holds the uh, thing that holds the blade uh, hit my finger, which you can see right there. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's it's either broken or something like that because I can't move it and it's numb. And it has been for the past like five hours, so I'm going to go get it checked out by a doctor tomorrow probably, depending on how it feels. And uh, 
It actually bent my jigsaw when that happened. It bent a little piece of metal on it, the on the foot of it. Um, anyway, enough of that. Just like I said on the first video I ever put on YouTube, boring for most people, but there you go.